Fuck, welcome. Welcome to Town All Safe and Smash Bob and LSD. Uh huh. It's about to pop off in here. Oh, by the way, my uh, only my left ear is working. I don't know why my right my right ear is not. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. No, no, no problem. So, we just watched them play Winter Semis, real close game, and now, oh, well, this is off to a very interesting start. So. Smash Bob and LSD, they've been teaming for quite a while now, I believe. And Puff, Puff Marth's a very interesting team. What do you think about Puff Marth? Puff Marth, uh, I'm, I'm really not sure about the dynamic and how it works, to be honest. Um, because it just doesn't seem like either of them want to take the lead. It's, it's more along the lines of creating a lot of, oh no. LSD. That was a great shine spike by safe. Excellent stuff. It seems like they want to create threatening situations, but not necessarily aggress. Okay. I'm not sure how that happens for them in teams. Yeah, I agree. I feel like both Marth and Puff are kind of like the support characters, so when one has to be more of an aggressor... Is mine good? Okay, good. Um, yeah, because like, this, is, this is a weird team composition because like both Marth and Puff are kind of like the support characters. But I feel like it can definitely work pretty well if the Marth gets enough grabs for the Puff. But, like, I honestly think just Double Fox just destroys this team, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, lately it uh, it definitely seems like Fox is taking it over Marth, and Puff seem to have a pretty tough time against Foxes as well. Yeah, that that's that's one of the examples of, like, taking control in the matchup. The Puff just gets the rest, and the other Fox just gets chain grabbed on FD. Ooh, that was really good Smash DI from Smash Bob. That was just a, a great grab by Safe, under, understanding what the situation was. Ooh. And getting the grab out of that back air. Oh, kill him. Nice. Good. Oh, that, that was an was unusual setup. I don't think I've seen that before. It, it's very good. Like, I think, it's I think it was a grab release into an up smash. Grab release, like, there's guaranteed amount of lag, which means, like, you can only grab release on the ground or grab release in the air. So, like, you can react to that amount of time and either up smash or up air. That's an it's interesting. Easy. So so you just replace one fox for the other, and by the time one fox lets go of the grab, the other one's ready for the up smash. Yeah. That's beautiful. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, it's it's pretty, like, standard. Good. It's really good doubles technique to do. All right, so they're going to go to Battlefield game two. Ton on safe in a lead, taking a lead right now. Oh, the double, oh, the shine goodness. on the double jump. They're not wasting any time. Not at all. Like that fox is fox is deadly in doubles, especially against a Marth. Like if Marth doesn't double jump right, he'll he'll just die. Like I keep seeing LSD do, does these early double jumps. He's gonna get shine for them more often. Also, I feel like it's really awkward to play doubles as Marth with a puff because you're worried about hitting your your teammate a lot. Because you know if you hit your teammate who's Puff, out of the way. Like, you could send her, like, way up, and then she takes time to come down. Yeah, that's right. Even if your teammate... If your teammate is in trouble, you might not be able to get to them in time. And LSD is going to have to do a much better job at staying away from the ledge. It's looking like that's just not the thing to do against yeah. these two foxes. He's getting whiff punished a lot here. I can see that. And, he, and really, Marth kind of can't really afford to grab too much here, unless it's like this situation right here, where they're kind of just one v oneing people. Ugh, that was. Oh, I don't think that was intentional. Tonal is gonna. Oh, uh, he. It was a. It was a good stall. It definitely wasn't a bad idea at all. I agree with it. Just not quite enough. They definitely need to take these these stocks next to keep their lead up. Okay, Puff's gone. It looked like Tonal and Safe had it. Um they're coming up pretty strong at the beginning of the match. That was an wow! Did you see that? That was an excellent save by Tunnel PM, and then because of that, the edge guard that LSD was trying to get was reversed immediately, and he died for it. So that was excellent team play. Oh, Fox is so good. <laughs> I did not expect him. Fox to come is back. such a good character, man. NTSC is the best version of the game. Uh oh, oh that, that was up creative, air. but he got shined off. And Fox is still really good. <laughs> he can grab the ledge. <laughs> While facing away at like the apex of his uh, up B, it's silly. That was a good crouch cancel, forward smash, good, up the ledge. Mhm. Mm Just like Martha's supposed to. Okay. Threatening that platform. Oh uh, man, risks. yeah. LSC is just getting real heavily, heavily targeted right here. Yep, he can't grab. 
Like, Marth really just kind of can't grab. He's just he's in a lot of lag after that. I, I kinda, it kind of feels like LSD and Smash Bob are kind of just doing their own thing. But at the same time, it's like because of their composition that they have, it's hard to, like, save each other or do that sort of thing. They kind of have to do their own thing. I feel like it. I haven't played this personally, like, that much at all. Uh, so I don't know my my experiences are kind of limited in that regard, but it, that's what it looks like. That's what it feels like for sure. And I can definitely see this being one of the only stages they want to go back on. They don't want to go to FD. That's bad for Puff. Um, that's also bad for Marth. They don't want to go to Dreamland. Yeah. Yoshi's is also a difficult pick. Yeah. See, they're kind of. The, you bring up another point as well. The stage picks with this team composition can be a bit troublesome because like one's beneficial for Puff but the but it's also not beneficial for Mart. Ooh, that was really clever by LSD to stage spike. Uh, I believe it was Tylenol PM. It looks like it's not something they want to do, but it wow. seems like Tylenol and Safe are forcing Smash Bob and LSD to play two one V ones instead of playing teams. You know what I mean? In a way, yeah. That was very smart to go with an upward angle to avoid uh, Mars and Air from the ledge. Oh, Puff F Smash will seal that deal. Good. Uh, LSD staying safe with those, those three rolls, but I think that, that was the thing to do. Yeah, I don't think you meant to back throw, though. I definitely think you meant to down throw. Yep, up throw. Uh, up throw, down B is a really good combination. Oh, that he got stuck on the platform. Like, I think he literally just forgot to run off or something. Oh, no, yep. Saved him. See, that's how you can tell someone's got real good situational situational awareness in doubles is when someone on their team grabs someone on your team and you you immediately punish them as soon as they throw it. Like, that's that's really good awareness. Oh, uh, Marth looked like he should have grabbed the ledge there. Yeah, that was unfortunate. That pains I me. definitely thought he was going to. Mm. Oh, and he was going to go for the spike. Reverse spike didn't work out. A little bit too close to the stage for that to actually work. This then is again, still definitely doable. Yeah, this is this is still doable for a red team. Oh wow, that's gonna the spike's um, gonna definitely like seal that deal. Lengthening their lead. For sure. This there we'll probably see a game four here. It's still definitely doable for the North Carolina team. I definitely like to see a game four. As much as I'm rooting for North Carolina. I mean Ooh, that's oh that's huge. No. Oh no. Somehow LSD gets stuck below battlefield and loses his stock at fifteen percent. That is huge. You do not want that happening in a and, um, unless last Puff doesn't take any damage. She is not and at this point it's gonna be very rough. She can't go for a rest. Yeah. It's it's and I don't even think Puff can even go for a grab, to be honest. Like Puff kinda has to just like, what do you do? Like, this is Puff's worst nightmare. These are, these are, like, the two fastest characters in the game that, like, completely just destroy her. Like, if Tizzle was watching this right now, he'd, he'd understand. This is a nightmare. <laughs> this is a nightmare. He would not want to be in this position right now. But then again, he'd probably be like, oh, yeah, I'd mess everyone up. You know, like, oh, I could definitely do this. This is so doable. Yeah, if Smash Bob can get one of those foxes off the ledge, he needs to close out that edge guard. And, um, and then we might see a four game situa a fourth game situation. Yeah, he is playing very patiently near the ledge, which is what Puff really kind of has to do. It's going to be a very slow burn for Smash Bob here. And then, like, that was an up air, right? Yes, it yeah, was. Yeah, up air trade. We'll seal the deal. It's a 3-0 from Tylenol and Safe. They advance to loser's semis.